For any business, accurate inventory tracking is crucial. Managing inventory with spreadsheets quickly leads to wasted time and money. Fortunately, there's Sortly. Sortly is an easy, intuitive inventory management solution that helps you run a more efficient business. Best of all, you can use Sortly from any device in any location. Let's dive into the essentials of managing your inventory with Sortly. No matter what type of inventory you track, Sortly's easy to use platform is designed to streamline the process. To get started with Sortly, you can either automatically upload your existing inventory using a CSV or Excel file, or add items and folders manually. To import your inventory, go to the Bulk Import tab under Settings and choose your import method. Here, you can drag and drop your file or use one of Sortly's import templates. After you've uploaded your file, ensure that your file headers match Sortly's system fields. Once you're finished, go ahead and press Continue and import to upload your items. And there you have it. Alternatively, if you want to skip the import step, you can manually add your items and folders. To do this, we can hop over to our items page. This is your items page, which allows you to easily see what inventory you have on hand at all times. Let's start off by creating our first folder. In Sortly, folders serve as virtual containers for your items, allowing you to categorize and group them in a way that makes sense for you. Whether it's by location, category, or project, folders help you keep track of what inventory is being used, where it's currently located, and who has it. To create a folder, select Add Folder and name it. Once you're finished, go ahead and add in any tags or notes as needed. Then you can drag and drop an image or upload it directly from your device and then click Add. Once we set up our folders, it's time to add items to our inventory. Sortly allows you to create detailed item profiles so you can track important information such as the quantity, what the item looks like, or if it has variants such as the item coming in different sizes or colors. Let's start by adding some gloves to our inventory. Start by selecting the Add Item button in the top right corner, and we can go ahead and enter in the item's name, quantity, and unit of measurement. From here, we can set a minimum level to visually see when our items are running low or need to be replenished, and add the cost per box, and a low stock alert to let us know when we're running low. After this, we can add a picture of our gloves to show what the item looks like, And if our boxes of gloves come in different sizes or colors, we can add that in too. Before adding our gloves to Sortly, we can click on the Show All Fields option, which allows us to add tags and notes and create QR codes or barcodes or scan them if we're on our mobile device. If we scroll to the bottom, we have the option to create custom fields or use one of Sortly's suggested fields, which allow us to track and customize unique information about our items. Once we've selected our field and press save, we can then add in specific details to help us further organize our inventory. Once we're done adding in our information, we can store it under the correct folder and then press add. In the fast paced world of inventory management, staying organized is key. That's why at Sortly, we're committed to empowering you with all the tools you need to optimize your inventory. Be sure to tune into our weekly webinar for a full demo on how to use Sortly, or explore Sortly University for easy to follow videos and pro tips. If you have any questions, visit our help center or email us at support at sortly.com. Thanks for watching.